presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars. <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year. And, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. Like that and I got over a 50% return in one day not counting uh, everything else but I just want to thank you Tom's not perfect but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small you can take your small losses but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run I mean a big home run yeah and put the money in your pocket okay I mean, brother I you're awesome man thank you now Tom O'Brien <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. This is a funny card. I, I'll read it, and you can go from there. Be impeccable with your word. Become a white magician. But where do you hear this card? <laughs> All the magic you possess is based on your word. And you can cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. I don't quite get this one, man. <laughs> Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 18, NASDAQ off 115, S&P's down 14. Gold, gold contract down a buck 80, trading at 1945 and ounce. We have silver down 47 cents, twenty-two dollars ninety-seven cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck forty-two, trading out at seventy-two dollars sixty-one cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year note flat, one thirteen ten. The thirty-year up four ticks at one twenty-eight oh six. And king dollar. King dollar is down four hundred and sixty-eight ticks, trading at one oh two zero seven three. The euro is at one oh nine. The yen is at trading at 141. The British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world and the world of the S&Ps? Let's take a look at it. Well, we're going to start with the E-mini because I'm going to show you with the E-mini here that it, the spreads. Now, we're in summer trading, and compared to what we've been used to, folks, the volatility has slowed down dramatically, Okay. And you can see, you know, when I did the update, there's no doubt we, I got the bar that, you know, basically I was looking for because what's happening, and we got an expansion of volume on this bar because if you're watching Target TV, you're going to see we have a high volume low in the S&P. That 4403 is a high volume low. That's the first part. Second part, when we got up into the uh, 4438, bottom line is that that was coming against Volume on the other side uh, was at 30,000. I think we did 12. We did 27 against 30. So, you know, we'll see how this shakes out. It, it just got inside the lower range. Because once you're back inside of, let's see, 44.21, we're just here. Uh, under 44.21, our probability gets higher that, yeah, we're going to get down there. Right now, it's teetering there. It got into the 44.18. You know, I suspect it's going to have to build a little bit cause here, but you can see this expansion of volume just on this bar. This bar, it's okay, so it just finished and had 27,000 contracts on the way down. So, and on the way up, which was a little sound straight, was still only 24,000. So that sets up that it doesn't want to get hit. Now, that being said, the NQs don't have the same. Well, here, now let's do the spy. So that's the daily, okay? Uh, intraday, rather. When we look at the daily, this is, uh, you know, there's not sellers out here, man. Yesterday, you know, bottom line is that we came back, we pulled back with uh, 76 million shares. You get 50 million today. You know, bottom line is that you're coming into 95 million. So this is uh, basically a vanilla type of pullback after something that's been up that high. Um, you know, we'll see where this thing wants to go, but there's no sellers right now. The NDX 100, we take a look at the NQs. So let's just go over to the Qs first. We take a look at the Qs, 
And what we have with the Qs, same type of setup. Yesterday, you came down with 49 million. Today, you're at 42. That's coming into 57. So we'll see how this shakes out. Now, what does happen is this. This is where this gets intriguing. When you, this is like an inverted, like a horseshoe, but it's inverted. And what I have found with inverted horseshoes, right, is that it's going to be like tomorrow uh, is going to be, a, well, we'll find out what's going to be a big day. But if, if a market does want to go lower, this is where it would basically have a much longer bar. That when, you, when, you, when you look at the aspect of how these horseshoes work, um, right when you, you know, right the, we're right where the longer part of it comes out. And if, in fact, there's going to be a sell-off, that's where you'd get it. So if we got the same type of trading as we get out here today, that's just saying that, guess what, you got a slight pullback, you're going to go to higher price. We go to the gold contract. Gold contract right now has... An ABC structure down inside an ABC structure down. So your probability that you're going to get to lower price is pretty high. We got down to 1929 today. It did reject lower price at 1929. Uh, that being said, it hasn't got above the B point again of the second ABC down. The second ABC down, the B point is 1949. This ABC structure down here sets up an 1875 number. And a lot of the swing low on this contract is 1846. So you'd still be coming into approximately, so it's 1902 and 1875. So the live, the live date here is March 10th. If you're basically looking at your, your, you know, your stocks, March 10th, March 13th, uh, the days you're going you're to want to watch. Notes and bonds. Notes and bonds, regardless of what the Fed wants to do out here, they continue to want higher price, lower yield. What we had out here today, you rejected 112.27, you're at 113.09. Bottom line, we'll see how this shakes out. We've been here for four or five days right now, but my take is this thing's going to go right back topside. And when you're taking a look at the 10-year, the 10-year right now is yielding 3.7. And that brings us over to the dollar. The dollar is really weak, man. You know, that being said, uh, you can see here, let me put this intraday because if... If the S&P wants to go down and basically test that low, um, what we're going to see, yeah, see, there was, the, there was the, can you imagine this? Look at this, folks. The, the dollar hardly moved, and the S&P <laughs> moved, uh, let's see, it moved, I think it moved like eight points since I was, it was down, it was, it was down, well, now it's only down 12. Yeah, it moved a good five points, and the dollar only moved from, 102.022 to 102.074. So it's been a one-way move all, all the way down in the dollar today. That is what relieved the market, and the market goes up. So the correlation is a very direct and tight correlation. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We have the Dow. The Dow Industrial is down 13. NASDAQ's up 102. S&Ps are off 11. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
a frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC. Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industries is down 21. Nasdaq's off 103. S&Ps are off uh, 12. If we go into the NDX first and take a look at the strength versus the weakness, you have uh, Dollar Tree's up 4.5%. What is this one here? Oh, Costa. Interesting. That's interesting. That's all about real estate. I'll pull that back up again. That's up 2.8%. Uh, you have uh, Baker Hughes up 2.8%, uh, and uh, O'Reilly Automotive is up 2.3%, uh, taken away from it. Intel's down 4.5%, CrowdStrike's down 4.5%, AMD's down 4.4%, and Zoom is off 4.7%. Let's go over to CoStar for a second. got to see this. So CoStar, folks, is used for basically commercial real estate. Look at all-time high. What a trip, man. That, I guess, no, that would make sense. You know why that would make sense? The low is 55, the high is 88. The reason that would make sense is that the, the amount of data that they actually have, even that commercial real estate in many cities is in the doldrums in a monster way, but if you were going to go in and try to basically get some, you know, grave digging here, uh, that would you would want Costa. It's really expensive, but you'd want that you'd want that information because what Costa has, which is really hard to get in the commercial market, are rents, rents and leases. They don't have them all, but they have a lot of them. We go into the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the Dow Industrials strength versus the weakness point wise inside the Dow. We have uh, United Health putting 48 positive points. Visa 12. Honeywell 11, Chevron 11 taken away from it, Salesforce minus 38, Goldman minus 25, Microsoft minus 21. The uh, silver, let's go take a look at silver. These silver, gold, platinum, they've been on a one-way trip down. There's no two ways about that. And that's bottom line. So, okay, so this continues lower today. I think this is going to be an ABC down, too. Well, let me do the SLV first, because the SLV will give me the volume right off the bat. Oh, yeah. So is an ABC down, too. Okay. Here we go. So the SLV, that's 2360. It's three points, which gets you 1950. Where's 1950? Yeah. So there's a gap down at Silver, too, at 1911. That's where we're going there. Let me put this uh, SIA. Let me put this back up. 
So we take a look at this. Now, give me the volume. OK. So what is that? 2660. 23, 360. That gets you 21 bucks. A low is 2040. These bars, the, the bar folks, okay, this is a, just wrap your head around this, man. Because what, what does happen is this if you're in this market and you, know, you want to be in the gold or the silver market, it's always much better to get prepared prior to uh, you know, something like this. Because if you get ready for it, see, we had a sign of strength in, in both all the metals on the 13th. The 10th, was that the March? They're all different. This one's March 13th. The gold is March 10th. Uh, same bar, though. It's, it was wide price spread, accelerated volume. And bottom line, that's exactly where it looks like it's going to be going to. And so it's always easier because what you're going to be looking for is that you're going to be looking for a contraction. Where you're looking, first off, what you like is, is the volume blows out of the place, which the volume's been blowing out. And if the volume blows out before you get to those lower levels, what ends up happening is that the sellers are gone. Then what you're looking for is you're looking for that test and that rejection. If that's what you get, you know the bottom line is it, there's, there's a huge consolidation there. So it's always nice when you can get down as close as you can to the bottom if, in fact, you can catch that ride on the way up. I'll ride the ride on the way down. We go over and take a look at the oil market out here. Oil today, you know, it's amazing the type of sp spreads that oil is creating these days. You know, it moves a buck and a half every day. Now you get 20, 242,000 contracts out here today. Let's see what we've been going into. Yeah, so today's a big day. You're going into 236. So that's not bad. So it might make it up a little bit higher. And if we go to the XLE, we take a look at the XLE out here. Yeah, XLE wants lower price. So XLE, you can see up 99 cents, right? See the contraction of volume? Yesterday we came down with 21 million and going up at 13 today. That's a, that's, that, that's a flat out, you know? Bottom line, can't make it. This, these lows, the bottom of the consolidation is game in the XLE. So, and then financials, XLF. We take a look at the XLF. We had Paul out here speaking today. He'll be going to be speaking tomorrow also. We take a look at the XLF. Now, the, X, the XLF looks to me that it actually is going to get some juice on the way up. You can see what happened now. The XLF, bottom line is that, yeah, you came down with volume yesterday. You know, you're up eight cents, but you're really a sideways move. That's what you kind of want to see. You want to see sideways moves, you know, instead of basically trying to get to higher price with volume contracting that's that's when things get in trouble when you try to get the higher price and simultaneously you have the volume contracting some of the higher volume equities out here that we have today tesla is going to be number one it's been number one for quite a while that's down eleven and a half dollars you got intel down a buck seventy we get uh google's off 223 PayPal's off uh, 42 cents. Amazon. Amazon's getting sued by the FTC because of the fact that you can join Amazon, but you can't unjoin it. Well, you can, but it's so hard to do it, it's insane. And it is not <laughs> uh, doing a thing to the equity out here today. You know, the bottom line is only down 63 cents. It, and it's not just Amazon. You know, I'm sure we've all experienced this, man. It blows my mind. It doesn't blow my mind. It, it gets me flipped out, actually, when, you know, you're trying to get out of the payment system, meaning that you know you're paying every month. And what I've found a few times, and what I've done a few times, uh, I used to do this almost every couple of years, is that I would just call my credit card company and tell me, "Give me a new one," because sometimes I forget how many you know you, you put on the payment every single month. And so I was like, "Okay, man, just give me a new one. We'll figure this out." But the bottom line is that they have, they, they have, they're onto the right deal there, meaning that they made it so hot. And in Amazon's case, they called it uh, the Iliad.
because it's so long. <laughs> uh, and if you've ever seen that book, folks, okay, it is that long. There's, there's no doubt about it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now is off 41. You get the NASDAQ down 118. S&Ps are down 16. Let's go take a look at that E-mini and see if we still got volume on the way down. And I'll go over that. We have a couple targets that want me to go over that uh, again about that high volume. It's, it's, it, what is cool about you know what we do at the volume and price is that you're just looking for high volume lows and high volume highs. And you can see it's quite clear. The highest volume that we have out here bottom is a high volume low that's how and you and you don't it, it goes both ways stay right there I'll come right back the gold report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content stream live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 52. You get the NASDAQ off 118. S&Ps are off 16 and a half. And uh, it's getting close for this uh Submarine down there at the, with, looking at the Titanic, folks, okay? Sad but true. You know, they're hearing noises, okay? Underwater noises detected near the wreck of the Titanic can't be positively linked to the missing vessel uh, with five people on board, the U.S. Coast Guard said, adding that the search mission has expanded. Uh, a Canadian plane uh, with sonar capabilities looking for the Titan vessel picked up sounds early Wednesday and remote and remotely operated vehicles were moved to the area where the sounds originated. You know, the more you read about this thing, it's, it's pretty intense. And, you know, I guess one of the, you know, reasons that it's an unregulated area um, is that because it's also in international waters. So, 
bottom line is that, you know, when you read about the, <laughs> the controller, they don't even have a GPS on the deal. That, that's just kind of strange, I think. That blows my mind. I can't quite understand that. But anyway, bottom line is that it's keep sending those prayers and send that white light because it's not over till it's over. And I can't even comprehend uh, being inside that. I can't comprehend being inside it, period. <laughs> that, that's, that's the bottom line. Particularly because, you know, Tommy was talking about the risk reward of doing that, period, okay? But the thing that's so crazy is that my understanding is that, you know, Jacob was telling me this just before he came downstairs, is that what, what's happening is that you're only looking at the Titanic through a window in the bathroom, but the window in the bathroom actually is, is the camera that's outside. So it's, it's like you and I can basically sit here and basically be looking at the same thing. So it's like... Anyway, and I, and I get I get the deal that you know people want to say they've been there. I, I get that, you know, but damn, to lose your life over it is a whole different ball game. That's for sure. The Dow, the so the Dow Industrials. This is the, the Dow has been moving around out here today, man. I mean, the, the, it's been moving pretty quick. I mean, look at this. So so you have volatility in the Dow. The Dow got a low out here today of eight thirty three eight seventy six. Then. It went to 34.097. Now, this is this bay, this also. Well, actually, let me look at the diamonds and see if the diamonds have that high volume low also. So, if we look at the diamonds, yeah, see, they don't. We had a high, a high volume low, but that's right at the open, and it then it tested it right after it. But, no, well, that, that's, yeah, that's still the highest volume. The highest volume is still right after that. That's on the diamonds, that's 3.30. 871, so it is there. So let me just go over this high volume, low or high again. So as you're watching Tiger TV, and if you have the out of time in the trade, just review those chapters because, you know, it's a great tool, man. So if you take a look at this, right, what you're going to see was the first time that we came down this morning, that was at 10 o'clock, you came down, you had 49,000 contracts. Then you bounce. Now, the key is with time in the trade is that you... Uh, basically showing what happens when you're down versus what happens when you're up, okay? So we go down there with 49,000. 49, we go up with 43. Then this is the one. We go down with 48.9, and then we go up with 20. We come back down, but we don't test with 28. Then we make a high with 27. And the first one, right before I got on the air, was the one that's saying, okay, man, you know, my take is, when you, when you always have one, bottom line, it looks to me like that, that is the most deviant thing the market could do. And you know what the, my saying is, the market's job is taking the most amount of money away from the most amount of people in the least amount of time, and it's the most efficient mechanism that I've seen <laughs> in order to do that. So, you know, on a continual basis, you just try to basically be on the other side of that. And when we talk about that, that's where, you know, if you went to Tim Ward's uh, workshop last week, that's what you saw inside that workshop. That workshop was phenomenal. Um, it was just an amazing workshop. And those tools that, that you got, basically people don't use them. That, that's, that, that, that's the bottom, that's what's so cool about Ord in general. But that's when, that's how I, that's how I first picked up on them. I, I, I knew there was something that People don't use number one, which is a huge plus. And one of the reasons is that it took so long to basically, you know, all the things, uh, well, I don't care whether it's price and volume, it's Fibonacci and all that, they've been around and, you know, and so people know them. When you have something that has been worked on for so long as Tim has worked on it, whole different ballgame, man, whole different ballgame. 877-927-6648. So let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI because those also, they were breaking B points yesterday. So let's see what kind of volume they had. I suspect these are ABC structures down. So let's see. We need more than 21 million there. Yeah, we get 25 million. So XAU is ABC down. That's going to go right down to the bottom. We're trading 119. We're talking, well, let me get the full, full number here. 
So, one second, put this up here. Okay, so, it's 143. They get 24 points. Yeah, 104. And what's the bottom? We're going, well, actually, this is saying we'll break the bottom. So, this is cool to know, too. It's saying the XA is 104. And we're at 119. We go to the Gold Bugs Index. Set this baby up. Okay, so we needed more than 15 million, and you got 17. Okay, so the ABC down. 284. It's a big one, then. Two thirty-six. Thirty-eight. So that's two eleven. What's that low? Two ten. The low is two ten. So this is going to the lows, man. And that's what I mean about the aspect. If you if you get if you set these up first, you know and. It, Trust me, I know it's it's wild, you know, writing the gold report, and I'm saying the ABC. Well, the ABC downs, man. You know, that's 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 how it works. <laughs> you know, you, you can't basically fight how these things want to trade. What what I love about it, what I love about the gold and silver market period is this: is the moves are very large. You do have to get out when they finish ABC structures on the way up, but they telegraph. The, the, the gold and silver market has a very great way of telegraphing on a continual basis kind of where it wants to go. And you can check that with the aspect of the dollar and the aspect of bonds. That's why, I, you know, that when you have all three of them in harmony, well, then your probability gets much better that you're going to be right in the context of where it wants to go. And when you get down to those levels, just like, can you imagine, I mean, if you're long, you know, we made money on the way up. I sold on the way up. We sold it kind of near the top here. The bottom line is that we'll be buying hand over fist because the bottom line is that that's where it's at, man. Dow. Dow's down 88. Nasdaq's off 151. S&P's down 24. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow Dow just is down 72. The Nasdaq's up 145. S&Ps are off 20. So let's just go look at that E-mini for a second because I want to bring something up here just because I know that we definitely have a lot of folks that are trading the one day options i think we do anyway i trade them every day <laughs> so when you take a look at this folks okay what you want to understand also about that structure as you can see it was a monster downdraft that we just had okay you know we got down to 4407 just on that bar see the explosion of volume and it's 440370 that we're looking for now if you're trading those what you should always have is you, you should always have a close in meaning if you have, i trade spreads that's what i do i don't go direct well i go directionally but I go directionally in spreads okay so what happens is that if you get a bar like this you really luck out because the bottom line is that you have if you have the spreads in there if you have a sell in there right you're going to get popped because what ends up happening is that it moves so quick that the actual premium, and the premium is on a lot right now, but the premium will go up because it moves so fast. So what you don't want to get in the middle of is having the positions on without always having a sell inside the positions. That's Now that's a technical way of trading or that doesn't have to do with averages or anything like this okay but you want to understand how these platforms work and you know bottom line is that and now you know you can do that also now this is what's cool let's check this out the other side of that you can also do it on trying to get into positions that that's you know that's just as good that's just as good uh, trying to get into positions versus, you know, the other side of it. So, um, where am I here? Is someone on the phone now? Yes, sir. Okay, one second. I'm sorry. I'll find this thing. I got it. We got Art from Arcadia. Art, what's going on? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? I'm doing very well. Cool, man. Cool. So, I have some weekly pressure puts, uh, 721 40 puts. And, you know, they're moving more and more into the money all the time. So I was kind of wanting your review of it. Okay, so let's take a look. You got wheat and precious metal, the lows 28, the highs 52. They're trading at 42. He has the, the 40 puts. And the the third week in July, so these are the monthlies. Uh, it's going to be good because you got an ABC down, man. Look at this. Okay, cool. You broke the B point yesterday with volume. So the A point, let's get this exact for you because you got this trade on. One second. Come on, baby. Come on up. Okay, so we got 52.58. 52.58 is your A point. Your B point is 43.95. 
So we have 863A to B. Your C point is 4701 minus 4701. Gets you 3841. Okay, cool. So 3841, the low out there is 3839. Okay. And now let's look at this. So, so what did you pay for them? I don't remember, Tom. I really don't. Okay. Okay, that's you know, cool. Okay. I, I, just, I just buy them and I watch them go down. That's cool. Okay, one second. Let me see this. So, okay, so July, one, two, three. You got four weeks. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I mean, you, you get action here, man. That's the bottom line, you know. I mean, it wants to go to 38 bucks. What you want to understand is that the, the, I mean, you trade these a lot, right? Yes. Okay, so you know how they move. Um, when you when know, it goes to 40, you think I should take all my money that I put in it? Yeah, I mean, because you should ha you're going to have like a double or a triple or a five bagger, I think. Because you bought them out of the money. And most of the times you buy them out of the money like that, you're going to have a five or ten bagger. I'm not sure. You know, that's why I asked you. Um, because you don't get movement. Your deltas, you know, are basically really small until you get, you know, on the money. And then something that you want to be really careful of, and this is what you want to be careful of, is that once you get in the money, you're going to see that, that thing collapse. You see what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. Here, one second. Let me, what, you, have the, you have the 40s, right? Yes. Yeah. I got to do this on a different screen. Let me do this. One second. I can do this quick. One second. 40s. O-M-O-N. -O okay. July... Okay, July 40s. Here we go. Okay, so you're at 35 to 40. Oh, yeah, the last, okay, so the last trade is 45 cents. So what would happen is that the stock's at 42. Now, if this stock gets to, let's say, 41, even 40, right? That'll probably go, that 40 will probably go to 90 cents, okay? Now watch what happens. But then you go to 40, right? And depend, let's say it's has like two weeks, then that, that, that 90 cents, you know, could actually get out to about 40 cents again. That quick. I'm aware of that. Yeah, good, okay. So, you know, bottom line, just make sure you take some money when you basically, you know, it sounds to me like you get a double or I, I, you know, if you don't know what you bought them for, I, I can't, you know what I mean? I, I don't know what the, the other side of it is, but you get a good trade on, man. And it doesn't Thank look you. to me that it's going to take that long to get to that price projection. You know, we're, we're at a kind of a weird time right now because you can see the spreads are coming down in the main market. The gold just keeps getting hit, and it keeps giving everyone hope that it's going to go higher. Because just like today, I mean, you can see, you know, that it just rejected again, you know, the 1929, and it's like, you know, $16 above 1929. And that's the exact same thing that it did, you know, four days ago. And then all of a sudden blew apart again, you know what I mean? But the, the larger picture is that, you know, I think it wants that lower price. So... Cook it, brother. It. Nice trade. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. You yeah, because yeah, what you also have there, folks, you have the XAU as well as the HUI on ABC Structures Down. Um, let's go take a look at uh, a couple of the big dogs out here. If we take a look at Newmont, I mean, Barrick first. Oh, see, oh, this is going to be cool. Okay, check this out, folks. Okay, this is, gonna, this is a heads up. Once, let me do this number, man. Because this does happen on strong stocks. 18, 16, 16, 59. One second. I got to do this quick. Come on. Come on. Okay. Because I have a feeling that Barrick's going to be one of the first ones off the bottom. Let's see. 18, 16, 18, 18, 16, minus 16, 59. Minus 1754 is 1597. Check this out, man.
Barrick just finished ABC down to $15.97. It's gonna reject lower price, it's gonna have lighter volume, and it's the bar I've been talking about, man. Check it out, we'll come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So if we look at the barrack here, folks, right? This finished ABC Dom. It's going to reject lower price today. It's coming into 37 million, only did 11. So this thing's setting up for buy. Now, watch this. Same deal with an Eco Eagle. So this is going to get cool, man. And this is what happens, you know, when you do big downdrafts. The an Eco Eagle, same setup, meaning, you, and with an Eco Eagle did an ABC down. Is it is it's rejecting lower price today at forty seven eighty six. Now, well, look at this. Look at that. See that bar that we were talking about. That bar, the bottom of that bar is 48, 49. We went to 47.86. That volume there had 9.4 million. We did 1.7. It rejected it. And in both cases, folks, okay, so this is a net lesson in time in the trade. In both cases, you get a rejection of lower price. You're coming into strength. And at the highs in both those cases, an Eco Eagle, 61.15. You have volume at the high, and we go to Barrick, and it's the same thing. So, Bob, this is going to be, this is a great trading market. That's the bottom line. We take a look at the broad market out down here. You get the Dow down uh, 87, NASDAQ's off 159, S&P's off 23. Now, what that also says, this is what's going to be cool here, folks. What that also says is that 
when I look at those two, that's going to get intriguing because, you know, I'm saying that the doll, I mean, that the goals in an ABC structure down, well, that baby might get negated. And if that's the case, the dollar is going to go to hell in a handbag. And you have two different things end up happening. If the dollar is going to hell in a handbag, because this was a deep retracement on the dollar, then you would have the broad market going forward as well as the gold market. And we haven't had that. Do you know what I mean? Because the dollar, you know, today, you know, looks to me like it wants to go to the bottom first. But all of those above are happening. It's a beautiful thing. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off, 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Go get him, folks.